The newest version of WordPress is due to ship any day now. I'm running two different plugins and a theme on my website so that I could test out what this new version is going to look like. So before we dive into seeing everything, you'll notice my dashboard is a little bit differently. Uh, the side on the left and the very bar at the top are all black and that's similar to the way that WordPress.org will look. I'm trying to run this on my own family blog site so that I could test out a lot of the features, but this isn't a heavily used blog for a lot of other goals. So as you're looking through this, what you will see is the MP6 plugin, and that gives us the testing just as though the new version of WordPress.org looks, and this is to kind of replicate some of the new layout to the admin dashboard area in particular. The other thing that I'm doing is that I have already downloaded the WordPress 2013 theme and on top of that I'm running the nightly WordPress beta tester plugin. So here is the WordPress beta tester plugin and what that does is it gives me the complete access to whatever the nightly updates are of the newest version of WordPress. So what's coming up soon? Well let's take a look under posts. So if I go to create a new post what you will notice is at the very top of the posts area, we now see different types of post formats. Post formats have been around since 2010 and have been included even in parts of WordPress 2010 default theme. I'm running the 2013 theme and you, your theme has a lot to do with does the post format work. So a lot of themes may break, uh, may not simply be able to work with some of these different features when it's rolled out. It really is styled and dependent upon your theme. So that said, you could write your normal standard post as you see here. You could also do things like, I want this to be an image or a gallery post. Maybe I want this to be a link or a video file and you'll see that we can embed our YouTube embed code here or an audio post such as something from SoundCloud, a chat transcript, a status update, and notice on the status update, your title goes away. Think of this just like a Facebook status update, and I'll show you what these look like in just a second. You also see the ability to add in a quote or an aside. So that said, Alex King has been really helping a lot with the WordPress core code on this. Um, great job utilizing a plugin that he had already written and modifying it to fit into core. So here you see, this is my blog. If I'm on the home area, you just see a static landing page. What I'm looking at is all the blog posts that I've written and I've done them in the different types of post formats. So this is the 2013 theme. It does put in a default image. Don't worry when you're using the 2013 theme, you can select your own image even though it's not very apparent when you begin to fill it in. So I picked out an image for us and then I, on the blog area, have included, for instance, here is um, an image post. Here is a gallery post, and so you see I have all these photos kind of laid out. Let's scroll quickly through all of that. Here is my attempt at a chat transcript, and even with the WordPress 2013 theme, I copied and pasted a chat that I had inside of Google Chat, and the person I was typing with knew that that's what I was doing, so it was fine. It shows that this is a chat, but it misses most of the stuff. If I edit the post, it's actually in the edit but it simply is not displaying here on this area. You'll notice the color separation between the two. Uh, this is an example of a link post. And you see all the styling that's going on. For instance, if this is a, you'll see here on a chat, it says it's a chat. So uh, on the video post, here is one that is a video and all you see simply is your YouTube embed code and then the title of it. The next one is an audio post and they kind of blend together just because I posted them back to back and they have the same background color. Um, but here what we see is this is an audio post and I embedded some SoundCloud clips. This is an example of a status update. And then the next one is an aside. An aside is supposed to be uh, a little different than a status in that it is just kind of random. It doesn't you can disable if it goes into RSS or not, if you use some tools for that. Your aside doesn't really get a title either, just the same way a status update doesn't. Notice on the status update, you get that little minus line on the aside, you don't get anything. It's just a random thought. Here's the example of a quote. 
And I didn't even have to select it to say this is a quote format. It just automatically knew to apply the quote settings such as italicizing on it. And then the link for the quote is listed here. So that said, this is an example of the post formats that you could see on a WordPress website. And let's take a quick look at the 2013 theme. Let's go to appearance, themes, and this is the default look of the 2013 theme. What I can do inside of it once I have it enabled is to select customize. And in the customize option, you can, for instance, see here is the header image that I'm using. And you can modify your colors a little bit if you'd like to do that. At this time, the 2013 theme isn't really meant for live use yet, but um, you can choose to include or turn off your header text. Set your navigation bar if you want a static page or not. And just take note that for the header image, you can upload a new image. So here's the remove image option or the upload. The default options are listed here. So before I was able to upload mine, I hit remove image and then I was able to upload a new one. So that said, that's how you go about tweaking and changing if you're using the 2013 theme. I would expect this to be able to ship sometime in the very near future. WordPress 3.6 will come out along with the 2013 theme. The rest of what you see in the MP6 plugin with the different colors here on the side. We don't really have an estimated ship date on that yet. It may or may not be part of 3.6. We'll wait and see.